alternate sources of vitamin D. There's a whole host of them that we can be including in our diet almost daily. We are beating up the winter blues <laughs> with our dear friend, Dr. Michael Bruce. Um, it's so great to have him back. And he seems so excited. He's in the kitchen now, and he's going to show us how to get a big dose of vitamin D which we normally get outside, absorbing it from the sun. But in the winter, we are not so much of that. So now we're going to just walk us through it. The show is yours, Dr. Bruce. Just go for it. So when we're looking for other sources or alternate sources of vitamin D, there's a whole host of them that we can be including in our diet almost daily, as a matter of fact. One of the biggies, salmon. Fatty fishes that are loaded with omegas are super rich in vitamin D. Um, this is one of my favorite ways to get vitamin D. I'm kind of, I love salmon anyway. It's such an amazing fish, and I love the wild-caught ones. Like, those are the my best. My mom, I mean, too. I was just going to say, my mom only eats wild-caught salmon, but she loves it. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, you got the whole Alaska tradition. I mean, that, the greatest salmon yeah. in, in parts of the world comes from Alaska, so truly amazing. Talking about salmon and fish, of course, we've got fish oil, right? And so, you know, for some people who may or may not be a big salmon or a big fish person, you know, fish oil can actually be something that can be incredibly um, helpful in terms of generating vitamin D. And you don't just have to take it in a, a liquid form. Believe it or not, you can actually get it in, you know, pill forms and things like that. So, and, um, they, the, supplement and they, they add it to a lot of uh, vitamins, too. I buy my mom chewable vitamins that have a heavy dose of omegas in built into it. Because she doesn't like to swallow big pills. She's 86. She's, right. you know, a small framed person. So right. they, they make many uh, daily vitamins uh, th that have that as well, correct? Correct. And one of the things I talk about with people all the time is making sure that especially right now during COVID that you're really loading up on the vitamin D. To be wow. clear, that doesn't mean that if you have a vitamin D deficiency, you're going to die of COVID, but it was, a, it was a correlation. And so I've told all of my patients, increase the vitamin D for sure. There's a couple other sources, of course. Egg yolks is another biggie. Right. Um, so for people out there, people who used to Carbonara, only eat egg whites, my husband right? Carbonara. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. My Italian friend, of course, she makes a dynamite carbonara, by the way. Um, and then orange juice. You know, many of our orange juices are fortified now with vitamin D. Um, and so having orange juice. That's right. They're fortified with it and it can be very good for folks who maybe this isn't all part of your diet. Um, then there's supplements, right? So I personally take vitamin D every single morning. I take 5,000 international units, and it's really good for you. It's hard to have too much vitamin D. Of course, you want to talk with your doctor in case, if you're going over 5,000 international units just to make sure that your body is one that can absorb it and handle it. Um, other ways to get um, vitamin D, of course, if you can, get outside and do some exercise, right? I mean, I'm not saying you have to run a marathon, but, but, you know, go for a walk. I mean, I, I know yeah. get in the sun. Rachel knows I'm a big dog person. She's a huge dog person. So every single morning I take my buddy Hugo out for a 20 minute walk <laughs> and that's our time, right? There's a lot right. of reasons why that's good. Number one, getting that sunshine resets my circadian clock, which is very helpful for the winter blues and SAD. Number two, right. fresh air. Okay. Like we all need it. Our homes, we're stuck in our homes. I'm telling people now to walk around the house and open up the windows and then walk around the house and close the even windows just to get some. Even when it's minus, you know, below zero Exactly. Outside. Get some fresh air in there. Also remember the cooler it is, the easier it is to sleep. So don't forget about that. And then again, if you can get outside and move around a little bit, you're really going to be able to feel the lack of SAD and the lack of the winter blues because you're gonna be breathing fresh air, moving around, getting that sunlight and getting that vitamin D. And it gives you those natural endorphins. Like you just get into a better mental place if you move. It's just the way it is, period. There's no um, question about it.